Well before sunrise, engineer Akhil Hamid warms up his diesel locomotive and with a police guard eases Baghdad's only commuter train toward the suburbs. For such a basic service, basic traffic control. A drive-by grab for a chit to show Hamid's on time and on track. As the train rolls on, he's optimistic that more people will eventually choose to travel by rail through Baghdad's chaotic urban sprawl. We only got the run going six weeks ago. Little by little, the passenger traffic is building. But parked at last in the suburbs on a sorry siding with no platform, most commuters walk past the train toward the minibuses next door. Maybe they're put off by the boarding rock. On the return journey to Baghdad, there are more empty seats than passengers. But conductor Zaidan Khalaf collecting a 40 cent fare for this one hour journey isn't discouraged. People just don't trust the train yet. All the recent violence has left them afraid. They'd be even more afraid if they could see this. With all the barriers stolen or smashed, every road crossing is a game of chicken. And there's always one with more luck than sense. It may not be Grand Central Station at rush hour, but it is a start. Here comes the train now, roughly on time at 8.08, .08, pulling into platform number six in the heart of Baghdad. Hundreds of travelers used to arrive like this every day to Baghdad's once grand station. With a major renovation underway, there are dreams of restoring it. But the Iraqi Railway's immediate ambition is more modest, to keep the train rolling one rush hour at a time. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Baghdad.